The cancer that was rare is rampant. The sickness in the people is the sickness in the land. People don't eat the fish. People don't drink the water. Meat and fish. We can't eat the birds. Most of them are sick. You can't eat the animals. You can't live off the land now. We haven't been able to get people's attention. We had a chief who worked so hard trying to get something done, trying to get some notice. And she was sick. And she died in her sickness. And she died trying to make change. Fort McMurray is where the world is going to know how sick the earth is. That's a big cancer cyst on the land, on our mother earth. Just so I feel my daughter is sacred, I feel our land and our water sacred. And that's why we say no. We want our children to be healthy. All of us, we want our future generations to be uh, healthy and well-being. No more destruction to our sacred. We, we paddle together in one canoe. We don't want uh, this coming across our territory. This treaty of mutual defense and support is made on the occasion of the 150 year anniversary of the treaty between the Pawnee and Yankton Sioux. We mutually agree that tar sands projects present unacceptable risks to the soil, the waters, the air, sacred sites, and our ways of life, including the destruction of rivers, lakes, boreal forests, homelands, and health of the Cree, Diné, and Matisse peoples in the northern Alberta tar sands region and downstream Diné communities of Northwest Territories. The threat of pipeline and tanker oil spills into major river systems, aquifers, and water bodies such as the Salish Sea, the North Pacific Coast, and the Oglala Aquifer. The negative cumulative health and ecological impacts of tar sands projects on indigenous communities. The irreparable harm to irreplaceable cultural resources, burial grounds, sacred and historic places, natural resources, and environmental resources of the Central Plains region, which is the Aboriginal homelands of many indigenous nations, and greenhouse gas pollution that could lock the planet into a path of catastrophic climate change. We affirm that our laws define our solemn duty and responsibility to our ancestors, to ourselves, and to future generations, to protect the lands and waters of our homelands, and we agree to mutually and collectively oppose tar sands projects which would impact our territories, including but not limited to the Trans-Canada Keystone XL Pipeline, the Enbridge Northern Gateway, Enbridge Lines 9 and 67, or the Kinder Morgan Trans Mountain Pipeline and Tanker Projects. We agree to mutually and collectively, as sovereign nations, call upon the Canadian and United States governments to respect our decision to reject tar sands projects that impact our sacred sites and homelands, to call upon the Canadian and United States governments to immediately halt and deny approval for pending tar sands projects because they threaten the, the soil, water, air, sacred sites, and our ways of life, and confirm that any such approval would violate our ancestral laws, rights, and responsibilities. Article 7, we agree to the mutual, collective, and lawful enforcement of our responsibilities to protect our lands, waters, and air by all means necessary. And if called on to do so, we will exercise our peace and friendship by lawfully defending one another's lands, waters, air, and sacred sites from the threat of tar sands projects. We act with inherent lawful and sovereign authority over our lands, waters, and air, as recognized by Article 32 
of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples on the 150 year anniversary of the treaty between the Pawnee and Yankton Sioux have gathered on the Ahomtawan homelands and have resolved by our free, prior, and informed consent to enter into a treaty to be forever respected and protected. We have a decision or choices we can make. We can decide to go continue to go on the road we're at, um, continue to go on that road. And that road um, we call the Black Road. And that road will lead us into deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper pain and suffering and uh, the issues we see all around us. Hurricane Sandy, the, the uh, nuclear um, the tsunami and the nuclear was issues that happen in Japan, and so many other things. And uh, the deepening conflicts and terrorism and so forth and so on. And, and you know, the, the young people would, would uh, um, lose hope and uh, some, or we can take this path we call the Red Road, the Road of Life. That road is about uh, healing and forgiveness, reconciliation, love and compassion, but also courage and justice, courage and justice. And so <clears throat> it became very clear that, that in these prophecies that the foundation spiritually is the understanding of the prior unity and oneness of the human family.